Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm playing. Welcome to my YouTube channel. It is for Nina Amor and I'm happy you're here. Thank you for joining me. Today I am making some origami hummingbirds. They're supposed to be hummingbirds, but they kind of just look like any bird. I've seen some um more advanced birds and I'm digging them. I'm digging them. I'm trying to be on that level, but you know practice 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 um if you follow me on instagram at fanina moore you will see that i've posted a picture from when i made some origami with the art club i used to run but yes and i threw away some the other day and i'm so upset about it because i made this like lizard and i had it stuck to my lamp as if it was climbing up my lamp which was just so cute i don't know why i got rid of it i'm not even I, I might still have it i'm not sure i have to check but yes i love origami i just find it so interesting and the fact that you can make cool animals yeah nature i love it so as i mentioned i'm making hummingbirds today and I really enjoy symbolism. I'm an artist and I guess I'm an illustrator as well. I've kind of fallen into that somehow. I guess I'm expressing your imagination takes you certain places. But I enjoy symbolism a lot. Even as a fine artist, I enjoy it. And I feel like the symbolism within everything, if you really pay attention. But um, yeah, so the symbolism of hummingbirds is joy and happiness and apparently its colourful appearance brings good luck and positive energy into our lives. Google it, I did. <laughs> so I'm just going to cite that because I don't want anyone coming for me. And um, yeah, I don't know, I've always been fascinated by hummingbirds, I just find them so beautiful, super regal and mysterious and just even to look at, they're so visually pleasing. <laughs> Their feathers are like iridescent, the way they reflect the light just captivates me. I just love them. And I love to put them in my work as well. So you've probably seen them here and there throughout my work in the past. If you look at my Instagram and um, you'll definitely be seeing them more in the future. I will be talking quite a bit throughout this video because I wanted this video to be a bit more about I guess my thought process and how I feel about creativity, creating and art and I guess opening up a little bit because I don't really do that and this may be the best way I know how to do that so you can kind of get to know what my thought process is. I often get asked a lot like when I started making art and you know how I got so good at what I do practice honestly practice in hindsight I realized that wow this is a big reflection of my life where I am at this present moment and just how I feel about myself as an individual you know so um yes yeah, stay tuned and I will be back What did I do wrong? Where did you get that from? Oh, I'm Get that piece from. Hold in a second. <sighs> right, take two. The first attempt, as you can see, doesn't pan out well. 
and that's okay you know because practice makes perfect or it makes perfection or practice is perfecting and you know it's okay to try out new things it's okay to get things wrong and i just wanted to post that because that's reality you know i want my youtube to reflect that to not just be me making these things and it's like oh my god that's amazing like i you know we make things we mess up we try again and that's what this is all about it's like try and try again if at first you don't succeed pick yourself up and try again <laughs> over day to the late great alia but yeah and um i want you to know that that's fine you know that's how you get better at things you can see that i'm trying to like tidy up the hummingbird a little bit but i'm actually very happy with the way it's come out like misaligned because right now i feel misaligned i don't feel aligned my chakras aren't aligned i feel very imbalanced and you know even before having caught the virus i felt that way my mental health wasn't great and something needed to change and honestly i feel like getting coronavirus was a blessing because it allowed me to stop it just allowed me to stop and really think about my needs you know so um yeah i just feel like it's very symbolic of me right now you know i chose blue because i'm trying to be calm and rest and you know be like water and be fluid and flexible and you know white is apparently quite a peaceful color as well but funnily enough this is like an off-white like a grayish color so that's that tends to be like a calming relaxing color too that is beautiful i love it so um yeah i'm just very happy with the way it came out you know i will get better with time but for now this is quite representative of where i am in my life and I appreciate it. Here I am using this beautiful origami paper that a friend of mine brought back from Japan. And yeah, I'm just gonna let the rest of this play out so you can listen to this cool track and watch some art. And voila! Merci beaucoup! Thanks for watching and leave a comment, like, share with all your peoples, subscribe and stay tuned and feedback is always welcome. So.